Imagine that we put an actual example of an inlet pressure on X axis and the lift percentage of the disc on Y axis and here's your relief valve to it. Now we keep it from 0 to 100 percent and we have your relief valve disc put into place. Now let the operating pressure be hitting the disc of the relief valve but until it is not hit to set pressure let us call it point A your disc will never open. So your set pressure is now reached your relief valve disc is opening to some percentage and eventually it will open to its 100% value. When that is done, your relief valve is going to open and it is going to relieve all the pressure to your outlet. Very simple function, right? Now, this is your at your 100% of the disc. Now, let us try to trace back that when the fluid is going outside from the relief valve, eventually the pressure is going to reduce. So, your pressure at point B is now reducing slowly and eventually let us try to track this with the curve color blue. So now as it is reducing, you would notice one very interesting thing that here at this point, ideally the set pressure is reached and the relief valve should close, but it will not close no matter what you do. Why is it happening? So eventually it will go to even lower pressure and only when it reaches its reseating pressure, let us call it point C, that is where the relief valve will close actually and it will stop relieving all the fluid out. Now this is very interesting, right? This difference between this reseating and seating or the set pressure is what is called as blow down. Now you would ask me this question that why is this so much important but before that let's finalize that blow down is nothing but set pressure minus your reseating pressure. Now let us get to our question that why is this BD value so important. This is extremely important and a valve can be technically non-acceptable if you don't have your proper BD values. Let us look into it. So imagine here's your normal operating pressure of 80 PSIG. Here's my relief valve. The pressure is hitting to it because it is normal operating pressure maybe 80 PSIG. PSIG, the valve will not open. Now your set pressure is reached which is 90 PSIG. The relief valve is eventually open up and it would relieve all the fluid outside from its outlet. Very simple function, right? Now my set pressure is reducing up till 80 PSIG. But the relief valve should close but it will not close. Now my reducing it to 75 PSIG. Even still the relief valve is not closing. This is very dangerous. So for example, for this valve had the blowdown been 20 PSIG, PSIG or relief valve will not close until your operating pressure is reached up till 60 PSIG. That means if your normal operating had been 75 or 70 for a long time, your relief valve will just never close. Is this not very hazardous? Yes, it is, right? So how do you tackle this thing? The process engineers for give a blowdown value for relief valve. So they give it usually in terms of percentage. So you should ask a process engineer what percentage of blowdown is expected for the relief valve. Maybe it is 10%, maybe it is 20%. And then eventually with this value, you need to evaluate various vendors and see that their vendors valves should meet the blowdown criteria. If it doesn't meet, you should not make that valve technically accepted because it is going to be very hazardous to your process. One more thing to keep in mind for relief valve is relief valve standards. I have seen that it is very extremely essential right from installation to selecting the right seat, materials, etc. And there are various API standards related to relief valves. So if you want, here's the video which will help you to understand API standards and Please subscribe if you're liking the video and we'll meet next Saturday and learn something interesting again. Thank you and have a great day ahead.